Hey guys, Noah from Stage 3 Motorsports and today we're going to be doing an install on this Raptor grill for the Ford Ranger. When you get your grill, you should have a couple letters that you'll need to mount to the front of it. You'll have some hardware to actually attach those and then you'll also have some plastic brackets here that are going to allow this to mount to the truck. So as long as you have everything ready to go, we'll go ahead and pop the hood and let's jump right in. So the first thing we've got to do to remove the factory grill is remove this shroud that goes across the top. Now there's four plastic push pins that we're gonna pop out and then also two Torx head screws that kind of support the snorkel section for the intake. So we'll remove all that and lift this piece. With all the plastic clips removed and the two screws from the snorkel, the back section of the shroud is free. And then from the front of the grill here, we just need to lift and pop these tabs. Now we can slide it forward. There we go. The first thing you'll note on the top of your grill is that there's two 10 millimeter bolts here on either side. So we're gonna go ahead and remove those first. Now behind the grill, you'll notice that there's this plastic shroud that surrounds the latch mechanism for the hood. We're gonna to need to remove that, so we're gonna use a ratchet with an eight millimeter socket and a body tool to do this. There's a bolt on one side and a clip on the other, so we'll go ahead and just loosen these up. Now we need to remove this little gray electrical connector that's attached to the latch housing. So we'll go ahead and just simply unclip this, pull it off and push that out of the way. The next thing we need to do is remove this big plastic shroud that's kind of blocking the lower section of the grill. So in order to do that, there's gonna be two Torx head screws on each side and they're kind of tucked into these pockets. So we're gonna loosen those up and then we can shift the grill forward and pull the shroud out. Now possibly the trickiest part of this removal is getting the actual grill itself unclipped and pulled out from this point. So you'll see that down in here, there's like five clips along the bottom where you'll need to take a small screwdriver and put some pressure on it, kind of pushing down to release those. Then you'll have two clips hidden in towards the corners of the headlights, sort of. Uh, and you'll kind of have to go through the rubber shroud on the side. And then once those are released, obviously the top is already free and we can pull the whole thing out. So I'm gonna go ahead and put pressure on those and we'll work this forward. So with the grill free, you can see we've got the tabs along the bottom and these, like I said, you'll just use a little screwdriver to pry them down. Then there's two on the sides that operate the same way. So we just pop those with a bigger screwdriver. And then obviously the top's already removed. So with that, we've got the whole grill free and now we can work on installing the new one. So looking at our new Raptor grill here, there's gonna be nine short screws that you'll have in the kit that you'll use to attach your letters from the back. Then you'll also have 12 slightly longer screws that you're gonna use to attach your two tall brackets on the top. You'll have two side brackets, obviously, and then these two for the bottom. So you'll just simply screw those in. It's really basic. And then once that's together, the grill will look complete and we can go ahead and pop this onto the truck. Now working backwards of how we took everything out, we'll leave the top section of the grill still a little bit loose so we can put this shroud back down in the center.
Now we install these little Torx head screws that hold the shroud in place. With our shroud in place, let's go ahead and reconnect this little wiring harness. And then now we can attach the two screws that hold the top of the grill. Next, let's reinstall this little shroud for the hood latch. The final step for the reinstall now is just to put this shroud back over the top. So we'll slide that section underneath the snorkel, get everything lined up, push the clips into place on the front, And then just reattach the push pins and that'll wrap it up. All right, guys, that's a wrap on this Ranger grill install. And as always, thank you for watching. If you're interested in picking up one of these grills for your truck, you can head down the description below, click those links. It'll shoot you over to the website and I will see you guys next time.